<laughs> Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's me, Daryl Horner. You know, the Wigga Bigga. Dropping in to say hello. It's Monday afternoon after a long night of comedy. Um, I'm blazed. I just had some bratwurst. I'm fucking full. The Vikings are going to kick off in a minute, so I thought I'd drop a video really fast before I start watching the game and then go back to playing Xbox Live. Remember, my gamer tag is Daryl Horner, just like I would write it. Daryl space Horner. Find me on there, man. I'd rather sit and play video games with cats that are cool and laid back than deal with all the bullshit. Number one, people been asking, we still have Penelope? Ain't shit happen to Penelope? Say hello, Penelope. Please help me. Please. Daryl won't let me loose. Please. Shut up, pig. Anyway. Today's subject, we just decided on Xbox Live what today's subject would be. Today's subject's going to be emo kids. Hence the beanie, because you know I'm going to get heated when you see the beanie. Please remember, if you disagree with what I say, I don't really give a fuck. Don't visit my page. <laughs> you get deleted, you get blocked, your comments are never seen, you're a fucking tool, take it elsewhere. That was a little heated. I'm sorry. You can leave comments. You're allowed to disagree with me. You just can't come with silliness. And you got to know this is a joke, partially. But a lot of it I, I kind of mean. We're going to talk about emo kids today, man. What the fuck is so sad in your life that you need to be that fucking depressed? Look, I'm not talking about people who have actual chemical imbalances and who need their fucking Prozac and their whatever the fuck else it is they're taking. I'm pretty much somebody that probably should be taking all that as well, uh, but I smoke pot and have sex with fucking multiple women instead. Um, not those cats. I mean the one who lives in a great suburb with parents who raised him playing soccer and drinking juice boxes and just grabbing cookies and we're going to have apples with some peanut butter on them and then your mom's going to take you to go pick up emo on fucking... Is it Emo? No. Elmo? I don't know. Fucking, who's the fish? Nemo! We're gonna go pick up Nemo on fucking DVD and watch it again right after we watch The Emperor's New Groove. And then one day you turned 14 and life was just so horrible. You only got to go to a paid camp in Europe for two weeks that summer instead of three. And you showed them you started listening to Panic at the Fucking Disco. And plain white tees and Blink-182. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Because if they're emo, they're 40-year-old emo kids. And there's nothing emo about them. The fucking drummer's covered in tattoos. And humps nothing but fucking Playboy hot supermodels. And doesn't give a fuck about your all-black... Which I wear all-black, but I wear that shit well. About your all-black wearing, fucking eyeliner wearing, leather bracelet. The world does not understand me. And me and my girlfriend have the exact same haircut and pant size. What happened? What the fuck happened, man? What happened to the days of your juice box and your and your orange slices and your apples of peanut butter? What did you just wake up one day at sixteen and and you were like, my parents don't understand me. It's two thousand eight, and they bought me a two thousand five Tahoe for my birthday. <laughs> And Graham Graham paid for my tuition at Vanderbilt. And I don't know if fucking I can make it. Motherfucker, there are kids in India selling toes to people. Maybe. It sounds like something real, though, doesn't it? It does. There are people looking in the sky right now going, I hope and I pray that the UN drops a giant box of flour or rice from the sky tonight and I don't go hungry. And I hope for once that it doesn't hit my neighbor. Or whatever his name is. And you're going to sit at your fucking home in Reseda in, in air conditioning, watching your flat screen, checking out the fucking hills. Oh my god, those actors and actresses on the hills are fucking awesome. They're not actors and actresses. They're fucking primped up, over-rich, fucking useless pieces of shit with no career or life of their own. So they leech off their parents' money and their genetic lottery winning that is being pretty. And they don't give a fuck about you either, you emo fuck. So get off your ass. There's nothing to be said. Hey there, Delilah. How's it going in New York City? Who fucking cares, man? Get a new girlfriend, you whiny, whiny bitch. And I'm going to say something nobody else will. 
Patchouli does not smell good. Patchouli smells like hippie asshole. Stop wearing it. Fucking emo kids. I'm stoned, so I have no idea if this even made any sense, but thanks for checking in today. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. And if you want to hear a cool song set to uh, Plain White Tees, Hey There, Delilah, check out Hey Marijuana on our Loose Cannon Comedy page. That's YouTube backslash Loose Cannon Comedy. Thanks for subscribing. I'm going to recommend a comic to you guys that's very much not like me, but is one of my dear friends and who's great. Check him out. He left a comment on my comment section on my page. His name is Sam Grittner, and he just left Minneapolis, and ironically, he moved to New York City. But he's so eclectic and weird and looks like an emo kid, and he's really bony, but he's the funniest, most evil motherfucker you'll ever see on video. So check him out. Thanks for checking us out, people. Love, peace, hair grease. Or as I used to say, and I told a dude on Xbox Live today, peace, love, rubber glove. See you tomorrow. Banana, closing music. Banana, na, 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 na,